we're going to introduce something called synthetic division now. And synthetic division is a type of long division that we do under certain conditions. And so if we have a polynomial of any type divided by something that looks like x minus c. So the x is just an x, no power, no coefficient, and we have some constant being added or subtracted from it, then we can use synthetic division. And I'm going to show you how to use it. And the way we use it is we start with something like 3x cubed plus 11x squared plus 14, and we're going to divide that by x plus 4. So the first thing to do is to stop and look at the x plus 4 and say, oh, this means my c is minus 4 because that gives me x minus a minus 4, which turns into x plus 4. So now that I know what c is, I'm going to build an upside down L, and I'm going to put my c on the outside as a minus 4. And then I'm going to look at just the numbers, the 3, the 11, the 14, and notice there's a 0x missing. And I'm just going to write those numbers in, 3, 11, 0, 14. And my first step is to drop the 3. I then take that 3 and times it by the minus 4, to get minus 12. So I multiply going up, and then I add going down. So 11 minus 12 is minus 1. Minus 4 times minus 1 is 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. Minus 4 times 4 is minus 16, and 14 minus 16 is minus 2. We then go back and we say we started with an x cubed, and we divide it by an x. So that's going to give me a 3x squared, an x, this is my constant, a so plus 4, and this is my remainder over the x plus 4. So my answer is 3x squared minus x plus 4 plus a minus 2 over x plus 4. Notice I left the negative sign up in the remainder. It's part of the fraction. That's normal. That's what we generally like to do. Okay, I want to show another example. Suppose we have x to the fourth minus 5x cubed, minus 6x squared, plus 33x, minus 15, and we're going to divide that by x minus 5. So again, we're going to start by saying, there's my c, so my c is 5. I have to change the sign. We build our upside down L, we put our 5 on the outside, and we put our numbers in 1, minus 5, minus 6, 33, minus 15. We then come down, multiply up to get 5, which adds to 0, which multiplies to a 0, which gives a minus 6, which multiplies to a minus 30, adds to a 3, multiplies to a 15, and adds to a 0. Then we go back and we look and we say, oh, we started with an x to the fourth, we divide it by an x, so that's going to be x cubed, x squared, x constant, and remainder. A 0 remainder goes away, our final answer is x cubed minus 6x plus 3.